Hi, it's Lori, Lori's RV Life, and I am starting the wallpaper. Wallpaper I picked out. It's supposed to look like beadboard. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Anyway, it is going up on from right about that curtain edge all the way across the sink part of the side of the trail manor. And then I'm also going to put it above the stove area. And then I'll use the tic tac tiles. Let me get one out for you. There you go. They'll go up there like that and then the beadboard will be from there up and the same with over the kitchen sink area the tile will go here the beadboard from there up so i'm going to get set up and i'll bring you back okay so i got my first piece cut um and it was 36 and a half inches from top to bottom on this panel so I went ahead and cut it 37 inches so I'd be able to tuck the extra down in there. So now I'm going to wet my wallpaper. And then I know this probably isn't the best way to do it, but it's what I've got because I don't want to make a million trips into the house to my wallpaper. So I'm doing it like this and then I have a bucket of water and a roller brush. So I'll bring okay, you in a so second. I've got my bucket of water and then I've got a little paint roller brush right here and I'll dip my roller brush in it and then roll it to make sure the wallpaper gets good and wet. And I'm just rolling a lot of water on here to get this paint activated. And this is why I didn't put the bed back on here. Um, because I wanted to use this counter bed space because it's, it's metal. And I know that the water won't hurt it. So I'm just activating the paste by rolling this around. I don't know if you can see though. But the paste is starting to get kind of goopy on there. See that right there? Yeah. That's what I want. So I'm just squishing it around, making sure to cover all the edges super, super good. And then I will fold it up and let it do what's called a booking. I don't know where they got that, but anyway. So what you do to book it is you fold one end up and over, and that might be a little too far. Up and over without doing a crease here. You don't crease it, but you do want to get that tucked in. Bring this edge over and just tuck it in with the other edge, and then just roll it up without creasing that one spot. And while I do the next piece, I'll just let that sit over there and do its happy little thing. Okay, so while that piece, where did I put it? <laughs> while that piece there is doing what they call booking, and it's supposed to sit for five minutes, so that it activates um, the glue on the back of the wallpaper, I've measured out my next piece, <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut it. Now I have an old rotary cutter um, that I used to use for my quilting. I've got another one now, so it won't hurt to use my blade. And then, this just makes a nice straight edge. I've already measured it out to the length I need and I've got this straightened out. Here we go. And there's my next piece. Makes a nice clean cut. Keeps me from having to have scissor hands. Okay, I'm going to take this over to the sink and get it wet and I'll be right back. Okay. 
So I think it's been about five minutes now for this. So I'm going to unroll it and I'm going to take it over and stick it on the wall. I'm just going to unroll this. Pull this piece up. And I'm going to leave this bottom piece hooked so it doesn't have so much weight. put a slight amount of pressure. Um, I don't want to push the glue all out, but I do want to get all the air bubbles out. So see, I'm using this piece and I'm putting it right here and cutting a little bit away. You can see I left a little bit of, so I can tuck that down in there. to see this lighting is really bad anyway okay I'm gonna finish up when I get this wall done here I'm just gonna go across that and there then I'll bring you back okay I'm just now putting up the last piece of wallpaper that I want.